Hey fellow nerdy YouTubers, uh, this is Juan Guzman doing a quick, uh, just kind of an improv video. Uh, I've been a part of the uh, Windows Insider program uh, and I just recently downloaded the latest uh, Windows 10 uh, mobile and I kind of just wanted to sh kind of show it off to my nerdy friends out in the YouTube verse. Um, a little bit of background, I've been running Windows 10 or been part of the Windows Insider program probably since November of 2014. I've been actually, you can actually see here, I've been running Windows 10 and now this is the official version, but I had been running it on my um, on my desktop since about maybe November. Yeah, about November of last year, I think it is. Um, and it went through various radiation, uh, ra uh, you know, like various uh, versions before they um, unleashed the full uh, ready-to-go version. And so they're doing the same thing with the Windows 10 Mobile. If anybody's interested and they happen to have like a Windows phone such as the Nokia Lumia lines or now Microsoft Lumia, then you can download the Windows Insider app from the Windows Store and you know get to test that out and that's exactly what I've been doing so the latest version is uh, Windows 10 Mobile 10 536 which is what I'm running right now I just installed it on this phone oh uh, by the way this is a little background on the hardware uh, I just got this phone this is a Microsoft Lumia 640 it is an uh, AT&T Go phone uh, this is a great, phenomenal phone. I mean, I I can't rave enough about it. It only cost me uh, eighty dollars. Uh, it is an AT and T Go phone, but I'm running it on Cricket Wireless. Um, uh, Cricket Wireless, of course, is owned by AT and T, so I'm still on the same AT and T network, but it is a lot cheaper. So, a little pro tip there: uh, you get a lot of data for very little monthly fees. Uh, and it's prepaid, so you're never locked into a contract, which you know I despise. Anyways, uh, this is the 640, uh, and I just installed it. One of the new features under of Windows 10 Mobile 10.5.36 is that before, whenever you unlock the phone, uh, the lock screen would hang up and the time would disappear, and it would take a little while for it to load. Uh, so if we double tap. Uh, there it goes, and there's the time and the date, and it's no longer locking up. Uh, the 640 does not have capacitive touch uh, buttons. These are software uh, buttons that kind of just show up, and you can hide them by just swiping up or you know, showing up again. And so here it is, the latest Windows 10. Let me get a little bit closer so you can see it here. Uh, I ignore the background. That's my wife in the background. Or actually, don't ignore it and admire her beauty. Anyways, uh, so here is Windows 10. Uh, one of the new features of 10.5.36 that they really uh, fixed is that, you know, just overall bug fixes. There's not that in any new features being added to Windows 10 Mobile. It is already feature uh, ready, meaning that all the features that are going to be on the phone are already installed. You swipe down to uh, show the notifications and of course your action bars and you can do some more to do it to uh, show some more options uh, one of the fixes for 10536 is that the mobile hotspot was not working before neither was the quiet hours and they fixed both of those for this version um, to go to settings uh, overall the phone runs very fluid very smooth not quite as fluid and as smooth as Windows 8.1, but it is getting there, and it is uh, a very useful software. I'm actually really happy with it, and I hope that Windows 10 Mobile becomes a, you know, gets the success that it deserves because it's such a great OS so far. Um, so let's take a look at the systems, and um, one of the bugs is this C storage uh, that popped up with 5.36. Uh, you click on it and it causes the settings to crash. Um, but uh, I'm not sure what it's for, but it's just one of those bugs that they're you know going to fix probably in a later uh, iteration of it. But uh, let's go to the about. 
and uh, there it is. Uh, the Windows, uh, uh, there it is, 10, 536, uh, Lumia 640, uh, this is, you know, 1 gig RAM, Windows 10 Insider Preview. I gotta edit my name too, but, okay. Back up a little bit, and hold the back button, and you can multitask, it multitasks very well. Uh, the other new feature that they added with uh, uh, 10.5.36 is that they did a few improvements to the, um, uh, you know, the photo apps. Uh, the photo apps is still kind of slow, kind of buggy, not quite as fast as I'm accustomed to with the Windows Phone, but uh, it's doing a little bit better. They added a new uh, context-sensitive touch feature, and now you can just hold down, and uh, you will get all of the... Um, you know, menu bars as opposed to before you used to. You have them down here and it pops up everything down here, but now when you're viewing, you can just hold down. Uh, you can see it's still a little slow, the animation, but hopefully they fixed it in the next iteration. Again, hold that, multitask. Uh, another new uh, thing that they added, this is available in bigger size screen phones, but uh, they added it to all screen size phones is that you can long press on the Windows logo and now you have one-handed use uh, for it. Uh, very neat feature, very useful. Hold down again, and there it is. Um, let's take a look here. Another thing that they uh, really updated was the fact that uh, before everything caused the OS to load, even when you were just hitting the home button. Uh, for example, if I go to the camera app, see that loading that pops up? Let's reveal the soft buttons here. Go back and it, see the animations are getting faster. Not quite as fast, not quite there, but definitely usable. Let's take a look at the Windows Store. Windows Store is still really buggy, uh, still very slow to load. You can see it's still trying to load there. Um, but overall, they're improving it. They're trying to align itself with the design theories and di design principle of Android and iOS. You can see that they're now using the hamburger menu. Uh, animations are still kind of buggy. But again, it's getting there. Uh, People Hub. Again, they're using a uh, little, it's a little slow to load, but uh, they've changed a little bit of design in the People Hub. You can go to the when what's new, and it'll feed uh, updates from Facebook and Twitter. Um, I think a little while to load. I'm not sure if it's you know the app itself, or maybe it is just there. It goes. So it's loading my Twitter feed and uh, also my Facebook feeds. Pretty neat. Go home. Uh, another thing that they changed it is no longer Xbox Music, but Groove Music is a new service. They are actually, you can see it. I'm not sure if you can see it there. There you go. Groove Music is. Oh, go back. Is the new music app for the Windows uh, phones. Uh, I mean, it's okay. It's not the you know, it's, I mean, I, I didn't care one way or another. Um, camera app is, is really good. Let me show you some pictures I've taken with the camera app. Now, this is, of course, has to do with software more than it has to do with uh, the phone itself. This is a low-end phone, but for being a low-end phone, it takes phenomenal pictures, uh, especially without flash. This is a low-light uh, picture. Um, See low light pictures and it enhances it very well. This is with the flash and without the flash. Just great, great camera, great phone. I can't rave enough about the 640. I, I really love it. And um, I can't wait to see what Microsoft comes up with next in the next, uh, uh, any other flagship phones. Because again, this is a, a low end phone. So 
I'm excited to to see and try out their flagship phones. Uh, so that's you know that was a, my quick rant and blog on uh, on Windows 10 Mobile. Uh, overall, a much more usable um, OS than it was a couple of iterations ago. I mean, not too long ago, this was really really buggy. Uh, probably not a daily user, but they've improved on it a lot. You can tell that Microsoft's working really hard uh, to get this right and I think they're going to succeed very well. Uh, here is a couple of the new apps that are available for Windows Insider. This is the Window Insider app. This is the app that you would need if you want to test uh, any of the beta versions of Windows 10 Mobile. And the Windows Feedback app is, this is a universal app that you can share feedback from your desktop uh, version uh, and you can share it with your mobile version so you can see all the feedback on there. Um, again, overall, this is a great, uh, great OS, and I'm, I'm very happy with the direction it's going. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.